Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy Big Squiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Antharion. We are in episode 15, and we are in some sort of underground thing that I don't remember very much about. It's okay, there's some creepy stuff here. We murdered some stuff. Clearly, that is a thing that we have done. And we want to loot and pollute everything that we possibly can, I suppose. There's not really much to loot right here. Kind of want to peek inside the bloody coffin, but it's not going to let me, so we're just going to continue on. Alright, we come around here and take a peek, and it doesn't lead us anywhere that we need to be. Wow, we are like moving all over the place. I assume we're about to get into combat here, though. Alright, not really working. There we go. We can see a little bit better with our Lantern of Love. I don't, I don't really think it's a Lantern of Love. It might be. It's possible that it's a Lantern of Love, but probably not. So, we're going to continue on. It's going to be fun, guys and gals, ladies and gentlemen. And is this a door that can I... It can be opened easily? It looks like it is. Huh. This place looks a little suspect to me. Aha! Hey, we opened a door. Very nice. Alright, what's over here? Apparently a heart bulb. Sorry. And wine or food. We're gonna hit G to grab it all up. And it looks like lockpicks, ectoplasm, and all sorts of other various things. Some arrows. That's gonna go on to... Oops. I guess a healing potion. Ooh, blue vendetta, two-handed sword. What? We may have to reassess our our desire to use two-handed weaponry. I don't know. Gotta say, I'm pretty excited by seeing that. That thing is amazing. I actually have no idea how it actually stacks up, but it looked like it was pretty cool. But unfortunately, again, we're not really designed or situated for two-handed weapons, so... There is that, but that should sell for a decent amount. Require level 18. Yeah, we're a little bit off of that. Plus 4 to two-handed weapons, plus 4 to strength. I mean, this is a really, really good weapon, so I'm hoping it sells for a really decent amount. Alright, additionally, I believe we're pretty close to leveling up to 7. Unfortunately, the ring is 8. Yeah, we're less than 100 away from leveling. Alright, our folks are pretty tapped out. We should probably also rest for a few hours. I'll say three. We'll sleep it out. It's 10 a.m., 11 a.m., and 12 p.m. It is the middle of the day, but now it's one. We wake feeling groggy, but now we are so much more powerful than we once were. Enemies shall quiver at the sight of... Oh, there's a ghost! I'm going to start quivering now! We're going to switch over to our weaponry. And smack! Eh, that was a decent amount of damage. I wouldn't say a tremendous amount, but, you know, decent. Bonk. Alright, whatevs. Oh, you're going to confuse our mage. Well, that's fantastic, because we're going to murder your face-ish. Not, not really. Don't cast spells on us, thank you. Aha! You have one hit point. Oh, now two people are confused. Oh, and then we missed. Oh, that's not... Okay, hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Alright, we should be able to get this. Oh, we missed with everybody. We're so good at this game. Oh, I swear. Oh my gosh, we missed again. Why? There it is, finally. Wow, we got a whole four experience for that. Boy, I am so glad that happened to us. Let me just tell you guys. Oh, we failed our spell. That's something special. Like, I could see you failing the spell in mid-combat, but really failing the spell outside of combat? That really shouldn't be a thing, should it? It doesn't use mana. I mean, it's kind of pointless to fail a spell outside of combat. Alright, well, I'm not seeing a whole lot over here. Come on over this way. And again, we must explore every nook and cranny. Alright, we're gonna swap oh, oh we're gonna swap back over to our lantern of love. Do we have anything visible here that we can Aha! Ooh, we gained ten more we got more experience for finding a door and opening it than we did actually fighting things. That's not a great thing. It's not a great sign. Aha, there's a bat of some sort that wants to kill us. Actually, three bats. Alright, do we have like a we have a vampire bat, a vampire bat, and a vampire bat. We don't have like a vampire bat mage of death and destitude. Destitudedness. I don't know. Alright, we're gonna skip you. I'm probably gonna swap over on you and see if we can't get a shot on one of these bats. 65%! We missed! Yay! Alright, meanwhile, we're going to. Are we. Okay, we're gonna hit you. 
Hopefully that hits both. Oh, it did. Excellent. Okay. And we're going to skip your turn. Let us see what the bats bring to the table. Well, they bring themselves to the table. And we thankfully blocked, which is pretty good. Big hit there. We're going to do some Archerian hits there. Ooh, very nice this time around. Another uh, Pillar of Death, please. Are you sure, my lord? I am pretty sure. Bam. Triple damage done. Get handled. Alright, we're going to skip over our turn there. Hopefully our tank tanks it up. Nope. Looks like our mage is going to have to tank some of it up. Bam. Big hit there. Let's swap on over to this. And probably crush this guy right here. Bam. Got the eight. We're going to go for the hit. Oh, we missed. That's poopy. All right. What else we got? And a, a one. Well, we had the potential to do something amazing, but unfortunately we fell short. It's okay, though. All right, we'll swap back over to that. We'll go down to Chimera, and we... Sorry, that's not Chimera. That's Tamlin. We'll go down to Tamlin, and we will heal up no one because we're going to fail our spell cast again. Twice. There we go. Victory is ours. All right, we're going to continue on forward. All right, looks like there's some leaves and stuff to be had. Not even sure what exactly had the leaves. I I'm, My only guess is it was the wonderful, wonderful Bats of Doom there, but... Not sure. There's nothing in that container. There's a lot going on in these caves. Can we put that out? Is that a thing we can... Nope. Okay. Well, this room seems like it's got a couple of branched off areas. Oh, look at this. There's some stuff in these these barrels. I know it. Yeah! More food and a healing potion. And some garbage, because that's what we want. We want garbage. Alright, what's this? It's going to be another pathway. Looks like this is going to take us quite a... Ooh! He's like, he's like bugging out a little bit. He's like, I don't know if I want to go on over there. They look like they'd be some mean folk. We are a little bit, we are a little bit angry. We are a tad mean. It's, it's not untrue. Come forward, bat. And prepare yourself for death. <laughs> he's got a lot of health. 70 health is a pretty large amount. Alright, we're going to go for a singular spell cast here. 32 damage. We crit off that junk. That's pretty sick. Oh, we weren't able to block. Unfortunate. Well, oh, and then we missed. There we go. We're going to skip. We're going to skip. Oh, there, there's the block I was looking for. Alright. We missed again. And clobber into... Oh, we missed. Oh, poo. Alright. Hey, he missed. Okay, so this is just going to be a giant RNG fest for everyone involved. It's not going to be pleasant. Alright, there's nothing to be looted from his desecrated corpse. Nope. Looks like we're good to go. How close are we now? We're, what, 60 away? Give or take? Okay, oh gosh, that doesn't actually look pleasant at all. I don't think I want to do that right now. Multiple ghosts and other stuff without any mana? That seems a little questionable at best. Alright, let's see. We have 42% easy lockpick. Hey, we did it. Nice. Wooden Club Hulk Smash! And we get some gold and some mana, and we're encumbered. Well, one of us is encumbered. Can't imagine why she's carrying around the blue vendetta. I mean, come on. It's enough to make anyone crazy. Put some more arrows up on her. And she's digging life a little bit there. Put that on him. I think we're going to have to actually take the time to rest a little bit more, folks, before we go in and do battle. It's going to be another three-hour rest. Hopefully that gets us enough of our uh, mana back that we can do some work with our boy in blue, our necrophil, as it were. All right, let's creep on in here. We're up against a ghost necromancer. Ooh, two ghost necromancers. I don't like that at all. All right, I'm going to charge forward, and I can't really do much else. All right, I'm going to swap on over and see if I can't land a shot on the ghost necromancer of doom. And, yeah, I think we're going to go for that. Okay, that's not too bad. Make sure we're in a decent position to be able to throw out some healing. Alright, so the first shot has been fired, the second shot follows through. Oh no, we're confused. And poisoned. And confused. Oh, that's that's so unfortunate. It's okay, our, our heavy hitter is still here. 
Alright, we're going to lean heavily on landing that shot. Very nice. We even crit, which wasn't too bad. Please land this heal. Yay for the healing landing. Alright, so we're alive. We're hanging in there. Alright, we're poisoned now with two folks. It's not super great, but we are standing once again. Let's see here. Attack you. Pretty nasty shot there. Very much like to take a shot at... Oh, we missed. That is super weak. Alright, and yet another blast. Oh, resisted, really? That's a thing? Ugh. You make me nauseous. There you go. Get healed. Alright, missed. Ouch. Failed. Yeah! And attacked. Well, so be it. Alright, big attack there. Throw out another shot. Not too bad. He's pretty low on mana, but he should be able to have one more final blast here. Well... Got to resist on one of the bats, but not too bad overall. All right, there we go. And we're confused again. We're weakened, which doesn't really matter at all. 15 damage. Oh, come on. And it looks like it's time for us to, like, actually move in and start smacking people with our sticks. All well, sticks and stones will break your bones and make you cry and weep in agony. Also spells. Oh, good AoE poison for the win. Die, bat. Ha! Critical hit. Alright, and I don't think we'll be able to actually finish this all off in time, but one more heal going out to our frontline tank and individual Gorash doing work. Alright, and this should be it. Down you go, and victory is ours. Alright, we'll definitely have to rest again after that. However, it does appear that we should be able to loot some skulls. Apparently there's a tree root coming through the ground over there. Sorry, the wall over there. Alright, what do we have here? We've got nothing. We've got pretty much nothing. Hey, a crude buckler. And now we're encumbered on him. Well, well, we do have a lot of equipment, so I suppose... Yeah, we have quite a bit. Um, The crude buckler is better than the crude buckler. No, it's the same as the crude buckler. All right, well, we're going to send the crude buckler her way and see. She's got a wooden buckler, which has got an armor value of 3 and a weight of 10. This has an armor value of 5 and a weight of 10. All right, again, I'm still a little confused. Like, you would expect a wooden buckler to be less terrible than a crude buckler, but apparently that's not the case. I feel like the developers still missed out a little bit on that, but again, I digress. That's not a big deal, as long as you know what's up. It's all good. Alright, we're going to swap her back over. We're going to swap him back over. And there's more exploration to be had, but before we do that, I want to take a look. We're really close. We're within... What was that, 15? 25. We're within 25. Sorry, guys. I had to do the math. For whatever reason, my, my mind is like locked up. It's like, bloop! Nope, not going to happen. Alright, so we're going to rest again. It's unfortunate. I really wish there was a way to get more out of our mage, like his magic would last longer or cost less per spell. I realize that we, we lean heavily on that, but I still feel like it should be a little, you know, we should be able to use spells a little bit more freely. Because he's pretty much worthless without spells. Like, we have two combatants, we have a spellcaster, and then we have a healer. I mean, it's, it's kind of meh overall. We rely heavily. Oh! Oh, there's like a Black Widow who just webbed us. What the heck is that? I can't even move. That's kind of awkward. All right. Well, let me take a shot at you, make you a little bit sad. I'm going to wait on our spells for now and see what you do. You attack me and poison me. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I'm going to swap over to my weapon and cut you, though, and then you can see how much you like that. All right, I think we can finish this off with a fireball to the face. There it is. Not too bad. All right, we'll come down to you and throw out a heal onto our boy, just to make sure he's good. And we inch ever closer toward victory and toward our level up. Is there another hidden... There is another hidden thing. No, our lore requirement is 17. I think we're actually pretty close to that. Let's take a look. It's this guy, right? Do you have lore? Is that a thing you have? Arcane lore? Lore, 14, yeah. We'll get, we'll get the 17 this next time around. It's going to be okay, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to be okay. Alright, what do we have over here? Looks like we have some apples and random, like, millipedes or nightcrawlers or something. 
It's not great. Alright, another crossroads. Hmm. Oh look, more webbing to be done. Yay! Well, I gotta say, I'm not super concerned with it. Though I would still prefer to have not been webbed at all, but eh. Alright, so we blasted that. We can't get them both, so let's single target you. Pretty decent chunk of damage done there. I think we can accept that and move on. Now, uh, you're gonna web all- we're all gonna get webbing for everybody! Ooh, you actually got through. Impressive. Get cut! Get killed! Get fireballed! Or something, I don't- it's fine. And just stand there. Really? You web me again? That's- that's your play? I, you know what? I don't care. No, you have to come close with me. I want to melee you. I don't want to waste an arrow on you. I want to kill you with my body, my face, my hands, whatever it is I use to kill things. That's totally okay. Alright, we'll throw out the heal there. Go back up to him. Switch over to his dealy there. And we're about 15 minutes in, guys. we got a little bit of time left to play with. It's not too bad. Alright, there's a metal door over here. This looks pretty menacing. It looks like we can open it, so I don't want to do that just yet. That could spell our immediate doom, and I'd rather not be doomed just yet. Maybe soon, but not yet. Alright, I don't see a lot of stuff going on over here. And we're getting closer to that level. We're, what, 13 away? 13 more points of experience, and we shall level up. Alright, we got a rusty saber, two-handed weapon, and an old crooked staff, or stave, if you will. And we're encumbered once again. I'm seeing a trend here, folks. I'm seeing a trend. Let's get rid of this. Let's see. We don't really need the rock, either. We shall drop the rock. It's going to be pretty good when we get this stuff going on, though. Alrighty, let's take a look. We can probably throw the Rusty Saber onto our healer. Good old Tamlin can take that. And, I, I don't know, maybe the old Crooked Staff can go on her as well. Let's go take a peek. What is she using? She's using a Crooked Staff. It's one two-handed damage and a weight of five. This is an old Crooked Staff. It's exactly the same. So there's literally no difference. Except this is actually worth one more piece of gold for some unknown reason. Well... Aha! I've gotten a little bit closer to you, and you shall die for it. Probably not, but eh. You never know. Can we move a little closer? There we go. And fireball failure! Oh, that's sad. Really? You decided to web. That was your play, huh? Well, good for you. It's not really going to change the outcome of this battle, I gotta say. You know what? That's fine. Oh no, you attacked me. Whatever will I do? Kill you! Alright, so there's that. Um, 11 gold to be had there. Kind of move around. We'll pull out our wonderful, wonderful lantern. Once again, looking around for more secrets or treasures or anything really of value here. And I realize that we're pretty light up on equipment. Ooh, look at that. Freebie gold and what is this? Vigor potion. Pretty exciting. Not sure what it does. We should probably look at some of these things because I imagine they probably do something amazing. The odds are that they do. Alright, well. Ooh, some lockpicks. That's pretty excellent. That is pretty darn good. Wow, this place is huge. Oh, and we found another metal door. And this one's locked, and we need a key for it. Or it's opened elsewhere, okay. Alright, good to know. And then, what's over here, I wonder? Some more vampire bats. Alright, well... Let's rest, I guess. I, I hate resting. I really do. We're gonna go with two hours here. Hopefully within, like, two spell casts, we can kill them all off, and then we'll be looking pretty good. But we'll see. Alright, come vampire bats. Show your true colors. There's a zombie arm over there. I'm a little concerned by that. Aha! Totally missed you. Going to wait. Going to move over here. Going to wait. Prepare to defend yourself. Always oh, confused. Well, that's unfortunate. And they didn't quite get close enough to do what I was hoping they would, but... Eh.
You know what? Let's just Hadouken you in the face. And we can skip our turn. You missed the attack. The follow-up attack. It should be real, but... Seems like we've positioned ourselves quite well right now, to be honest. And we missed. That's about right. Alright, 56 on you. Now it's time for the giant Hadouken Fireball of Death. I like it. There it is. We hit multiple targets there. And blocked. And confused again. Well, that's unfortunate. Once more. And he's going to move around and not really accomplish anything. Okay, brought you a little bit lower. And let's finish you guys off. Oh, we failed our spell cast because of reasons. Well, we can throw out a heal also because of reasons. Blocked. Hit. And, ooh, critically hit. That is pretty unfortunate, I must say. All right, well, let's bring you guys down as low as we can. Oh, isn't that always the way? There we go. At least we don't hit our own guys with our spells. I was a little concerned to try that originally, but I was so glad that I did because it makes things so much easier. All right, down they go. Level 7 is upon us. We can loot up all this stuff. And I feel pretty confident now, so... Hopefully I won't be gone as long with uh, Antharion as I was this last time, guys. I'd love to get through this a little bit quicker. But I think what we're going to do now is level everyone up and then break it off there. So, hopefully you guys have enjoyed thus far. And trust me, I do, I do plan to continue and eventually finish this. That is the ultimate goal. Alright, so we're doing three and two, I guess, on one of these. I guess we'll do more into defense right now. Because I feel like getting more defense might help us a little bit more down the road. Increases the effectiveness of all your armor and increases your chance to block with shields. Right now we need somebody who is a frontliner. Gorash is providing that role, but he's still not super tanky at times. So I feel like that is probably the better play. Alright, let's see here. He's also one of our higher damage dealers, so... Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go with two points up in strength. We're going to go with... Uh, two points up in constitution and then dexterity it says it determines your maximum action points increases all weapon accuracy and increases damage done with bows now granted we don't use bows i still want more accuracy and more movement points or action points as it were all right so he's done we're going to swap on over to chimera she's of course going to put probably three points up in dexterity i think we're going to put one point up into... Well, we'll do two points up into luck. There we go. Uh, next up, we're going to probably put some into constitution for her because she is a little bit low on that. All right. I am going to probably increase some of her other skills. So we're going to go with lock picking. Put two points in that. We're not pickpocketing anymore. I'm going to put two points up into her archery skill, and I kind of want to put one point into her one-handed melee weapon skill, but uh, eventually I think we're going to be able to use her as solely a ranged unit, so I think we're going to go probably one point up into archery there. So one additional one. So we're not going to actually train up in one-handed melee or defense at all. I want to, but I think it's going to be a waste. Alright, so we're going to dump two more points into Intelligence, two more points into Wisdom, and I guess we'll go three into Wisdom. That's going to be fine. Alright, increases your chance to successfully cast spells in addition to making all spells moderately more powerful, and this is your total amount of spell points. So, mana, if you will. Alright, we wanted to get up to 17 lore. It's going to be a bit weird, and we're going to go double here, and we'll get Grey Magic eventually. It's not a super high priority for me, so... I'm fine with taking it slow, and we should be able to get into that wall we weren't able to get into before, which is excellent. And finally, Tamlin, the White Wizard. We're going to go here and get, yeah, two points there. I guess maybe two points there. We'll go one more in Intelligence. I think having a lot of spell power is going to be kind of her thing. Alright, let's take a look. White Magic, we're going to go one more point there. Alchemy, we'll do two points, I guess. I was getting some points in archery. I feel like it's kind of a waste at this point because I don't really plan to use her as an archer. Maybe I'll still do one and we'll maybe cap it off at 15 or something. I don't know. Like I said, I'm sure I've done some horrible, horrible, horrible decisions with my group so far, but we're still alive. We're hanging in there. We're hanging in there. It's cool. All right, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. Hopefully you had some fun. We got into a, quite a few fights. We have to walk around. She still looks super angry, but that's kind of, you know, She's Kimiera. What do you guys expect, right? She's my wife. 
That's what she do. It's what she do. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it. I will see you, gosh, I don't know. Uh, definitely this next week. We'll, we should get another episode of Antharion in by the end of the week for sure. If not, maybe on the weekend. Something along those lines. But there will be another episode thrown into the mix, and we should have some fun with that. Anyway, until the very next episode, folks, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. <laughs>